Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about wall layers and stacked walls. If you don't know how to draw walls, please click on this video over here where I explain that. So first I'm just going to draw a simple wall and I'm going to change it to something maybe a bit more complex or just something thicker. Okay, we have a wall here and if we want to edit basically all the layers inside of this wall see this one doesn't really have any layers it's just one thick layer we need to go to edit type so we hit edit type and here is type properties menu and here we can just select all these walls that we have loaded in or what we're going to do now we're going to create a new wall and you do this by hitting duplicate now we need to name this wall. I'm just going to name it new wall to make it simple. And we have here this structure tab and we can hit here edit. And here we can edit our wall structure and basically all our, or our, all of our wall layers. H here we have this is basically a structure layer and it's just named structure and we need to add materials and thickness this is now 0.3 meters or 30 centimeters that's okay and I'm just going to add some material I'm going to go here home Autodesk and just find something masonry maybe and let's use this CPU I just load it into the project find it over here and double click so now we have this structure material but we need to add more materials we need insulation and finishes so I'm going to hit here insert and we have another basically wall layer but this is not a core a core or this won't be a structural material this will be insulation so I'm going to move it up above this core boundary so everything that's inside of this core boundary is structural everything outside is not structural so I'm going to change basically the function to thermal air layer I'm going to type here point 0 0.15 for 15 centimeters of thermal insulation and I'm just going to find here I'm going to type thermal let's see what pops out or just insulation maybe yeah we have maybe this rigid insulation or maybe this poly polyurethane foam I load it in and I double click on it so here we have basically a thermal material and now we need to add some finishes so I'm going to insert two layers and this one I will just move down on the inside of the wall so basically it's on the inside and I'm going to name it finish one and this one I'll name finish two and for finish I'm just going to go some let's go finish and let's take this stucco double click it and do the same over here and now when we have all these layers we go ok one zero ok we forgot to set up these thicknesses and it immediately made an alarm so I'm going to go 0 0.02 for 2 centimeters same over here 0 0.02 and go OK and we have our new wall OK and now when we look over here here are all of our wall layers this is our new wall now that's how you create wall layers in Revit now I'm going to show you how to create stack wall stacked walls in Revit I'm just going to select this one and scroll all the way down to stacked wall and find this one when I go into 3d stacked wall basically means 
it's a wall that he has basically two walls stacked on each other this is one type of a wall and this is another type of a wall and if you want to create your own stacked wall you need to go to edit type just select one stacked wall it needs to be stacked can be a normal wall so stacked wall edit type so this is the type properties for stacked wall I'm just going to find and here you, you can see there's just one type of stacked wall I'm going to duplicate it and create our stacked wall so I'm going to go new stacked wall ok and edit now you can see this is quite a bit different from the last uh, interface we don't have layers we only have uh, stacked st stacked walls so you can only choose which wall to put on top of which other wall so here we have some just basic wall here and let's put our new wall over there and for this one up here we can use something like this and here you can see this is the height of this bottom wall so if you want to change that you can just hit here and go let's say 120 and you see this will be a bit higher now you can see this doesn't really align perfectly so you can go here to offset and let's try minus 0.1 uh, that looks almost right let's say 0.09 and that looks quite quite all right so that's basically how you create your stacked walls now we can go to ok ok and you can see we've changed our stacked wall so that's pretty much it for wall layers and stacked walls thank you for watching please subscribe like this video and share it have a nice day